Hey, I'm Jamie from Ink Brigade, and I'm going to give you a quick and dirty lesson on how the Newman Roller Master works. Here we go. That's it. For the MZX frames, this little guy just tightens down against your square bar. You take your screen and you bump it up against these metal bumpers here. Uh, you can probably see this one better on this side. It's a little Allen bolt. And if you have uh, M3s, this is an MZX, if you have M3s, you just move that bolt over here. <clears throat> We're going to lock it in the square bar first. Put in the constant force wrenches. As far as the constant force wrenches go, um, they pretty much just go lock on the roller there, and this cable pulls it down. You can see the roller, uh, the end plug here, and you just take your handy dandy wrench and stick it right on there, and you're ready to rock. And the third one with the square bar, you only need. Uh, Three wrenches, not the fourth wrench, which uh, you'll notice over here. So uh, we're all unlocked and it should be calibrated. So let's put our meter on it, tighten it up. There we go. And we'll lock it down. You want to go around and snug up the bolts <clears throat> and not torque them down at first. At, you know, you want to go around and snug them first. Whoops. These bolts are holding a lot of tension, so you don't want to strip them out on accident. There we go. That one's good. And you're done. Turn off the air and we have a 45 Newton screen. And uh, I'll show you that right here. Hopefully you can see that. So hopefully I explained some stuff to you about the Newman Roller Master. Um, you'll always get super flat frames, um, high tension, and it just, it's literally the flip of two switches gives you the same exact tension across all of your screens.